I've been worrying, working on a plasticity for a really long time, and plasticity is, um, it's actually, the idea of plasticity has been around for a hundred years. It was first coined by William James, who was a psychologist and a philosopher writing in the late 19th century. And he coined the phrase to describe uh, structural changes in the brain that um, must be there when your brain is learning something. And um, the his description basically said that when you learn habits, addictions, even development of the brain um, requires these plastic changes. And he was explaining this and describing this as a mechanism of how the brain learns before even the synapse had been discovered. And so um, plasticity has been something that we as a lab had been working on for years and specifically we've been working on metabotropic glutamate receptors as a molecular um, uh, target required for plasticity, certain types of plasticity to happen in the brain. And so it sort of serendipitously happened that um, that we started working on Fragile X because it was a developmental brain disorder where mental retardation was a, a prominent phenotype and uh, a prominent feature of the disease. And so um, the idea was, well, here's a disease where clearly learning and memory and therefore it must be that plasticity is disrupted in these. And so because we had our interest in mGluRs already, we started studying them and, and it turned out that the plasticity deficit that they had in the mouse model of Fragile X was an mGluR5, um, metabotropic glutamate receptor 5 um, form of plasticity that was disrupted. And the way that it was disrupted was sort of a little bit surprising because I think everybody had, in you know, maybe in a very American way, assumed that uh, more plasticity is better, you know, if you, and we, it's in our vernacular too, we say things like, um, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, and we, that's seen as such a bad thing, but it may turn out that, in fact, those kinds of breaks on our ability to learn tricks later on in life are, are important and necessary, and Fragile X sort of points to that because we believe that Fragile X is a disease where they have plasticity and it's too much plasticity and it's too much for too long. And that exaggerated plasticity is mGluR plasticity is exaggerated. And so we, our findings have been to show that, first of all, that that was the case, that you have too much plasticity in Fragile X and that you can, and then the second thing was that you can correct, you can rebalance the plasticity in Fragile X by um, turning down signaling through the metabotropic glutamate receptors. And what's nice about that is that it, it gives us a, a new way of understanding the brain that you need balance in order to have normal function. And it also um, suggests that we can treat Fragile X with um, drugs that modified the metabotropic glutamate receptor in the way that I just described.